Cool. Okay, so we've got Eddie here. Eddie, mate, it's good to see you. How are you? Hi. I'm really well, thank you. Considering the circumstances, things are quite good. Yeah, no, totally. Well, listen, mate, it is so good to have you at our Unleashed Virtual Drama Club this morning because you were a massive presence when you were in the group. You know, you were a, a guy that people looked up to and you were really inspirational. And um, in a minute, we're going to show the um, the guinea pig sketch, which, believe it or not, we're going to revive this year. Uh, but you were in it when we did that very first Under One Roof. Um, Eddie, do you want to tell us a little bit about how we came to, you know, do that sketch and what it was all about and, you know, your involvement? Well, yeah, I think I think for me the, uh, it, the it was it was really apt at the time because of the, uh, the 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 massive growth of the of the, the um, illegal highs on the street at the time, and the way the way the sketch was done was was to bring awareness to people that you know this stuff's not even it's not even out very long. It's very you know how dangerous it was and how and how how um, how yeah just how dangerous the drug was so it was a really it was really good for me to be able to be part of something to bring awareness to something i was trying to get away from you know, so. yeah because because mate how long were you how long were you sort of you know struggling with addiction before you got clean 20 25 years not a, not a day without so it was um yeah it was a battle. Yeah, but look at you now. Look at you now, mate. I mean, you're you're one of the main facilitators, and you're very involved with NA. And uh, how how long have you been sort of clean now? Uh, I am. I've just celebrated four years in January, so just four years in a couple of months. So uh, clean time very important. Yeah, good man, good man. Well, I'll tell you, it's um, we we loved having you in the group, but um, obviously with Unleashed. Not everybody stays, and you stopped coming probably about two years ago. Do you want to just explain what that was about? Because I think it's really inspirational yeah. for people. Yeah, of course. So um, obviously, um, the Unleashed was um, really, really um, uh, important to me at the beginning. It was something to do, and it was every time, every every everything that was asked of me when I was in early recovery was go and do something and try something new. And, and Unleashed gave me an opportunity to get outside of myself and face my fears and just try something new. And it was really awkward and, and, and cumbersome and all sort of like, you know, really, it was, it all, everything in my body was screaming, don't do this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I knew I had to try something new. So by going and doing this and facing my fears, it opened me up to, to try other things in life. Do you know what I mean? So once once I started, um, I, I, I started doing NA quite a lot and I got a sponsor and I worked the steps and then I became able to join uh, work and I was back into the community working um, and at least was in the daytime. So I couldn't really, couldn't really um, go to it. So uh, it helped me so much that it put me in good stead to um, for work and, and I was able then to... Um, uh, try and give back to people what was given to me and, and I would I would I would recommend anybody try this drama and keep going because it's such a it's such a wonderful thing to be able to be part of something and the, and the excitement and the fun that you have there is amazing so well Eddie it was it was, really was good fun. it was a big deal wasn't it because we we basically did this uh, big homeless musical at the Princess Theatre and we did it for one night only and over a thousand people came didn't they Amazing. I mean, it was amazing. mental. It, on stage. Yeah, it was mental. on stage in a, in a theatre like that and with all those people. And I think it was the first time that you'd ever done anything like that. So the first time we'd ever done it, it just all came together. And, and to be honest, we brought the house down. So it was, a, it was an amazing something to be really proud of to be part of. I think I've still got the video somewhere, the DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was a it was it was a great it was a great night. It was a great night. Well listen, Eddie, mate, it's um really good to see you and it's really great to catch up with you guys, you know, and uh, I know your life's going really well for you and uh, you know a lot of people look up to you. And um yeah, have you got just one thing you'd like to say to all the guys who are perhaps, you know, early on in their recovery, uh, you know, who perhaps were where you were like three or four years ago. Yeah, just just keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up giving up. Do you know what I mean? It does get better. It does get easier. Life is amazing. And, um, you know, there's, there's, there's um, I could, I could spill off loads. I could go into a 20 minute share here quite easily. But it, 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 the question is to face your fears. There's nothing to be fearful. Once you've passed through that fear and done something new and wonderful for yourself, you'll realize there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, mate. Well, yeah. 
Well, listen, Eddie, it's been great having you and speaking to you. And thank you so much for coming on and encouraging the guys today. And uh, we'll keep in touch and we'll let you know what we're doing. But thank you so much, Eddie. It's nice to see you, mate. God bless. Take care. Brilliant. Thank you.